Hey guys, um, I said I was gonna go to sleep in my last video, but um, I just saw a uh, hint that I need to go to bed. Um, I just saw a video by my homeboy of uh, Hassan Campbell. He was just saying that um, he did like about two or three lives. Well, yesterday now, he did about two or three lives, and uh, I could vouch for one because I was up. Yes, my son is still up, and I slip in one o'clock, two o'clock, whatever. Anyway, it was uh, there was a there was a live um, that I watched, and like I said, in my earlier videos that. The, the the one that I watched, he got cut off like about two, three times. And, um, which was, for me, that was like weird. Um, because like, the stuff he's saying now is some real shit. It's real. It's, I, because I'm seeing it myself here and, um, Florida and uh, he lives in I don't know where but I know all I know is he lives in New York and I live in Florida um, and for two people who you know I don't know the man like that the only time I see this man is like on YouTube I don't know who his mammy is. I don't know who his wife is. I see his he, he does videos with his children in it. Um, I see besides his kids. I don't know where he lives. I don't know nothing. He never been to my house. I've never been to his house. So for me to say, and a person who lives all the way in flipping Florida. This man lives all the way in New York, right? And, um, this man, he just, like, when I tell you, I'm not saying he's the next Jesus Christ because he, nobody's perfect in this world. There was one perfect man. He walked on this earth, and that was over 2,000 years ago. And... I am not going to sit here and say, you know, yay or nay. But for me, this is just me talking. This is coming out Naisha's mouth and not anybody else's. This is my opinion. I have a right to my opinion. If y'all don't believe me, well, that's y'all business. Y'all can kiss both chicks for all I give a damn. But for me to say, the past few videos that this man has made is coming is true because a lot of things I've seen down here is um is happening here in Florida um and it could be happening in New York um New York is just as big oh <sighs> sorry you know, New York is bigger than Florida. Or, I don't know, more people live in New York than Florida. I don't know, child. But all I can say is that this world is coming to an end. If you don't, everybody heard of, um, when God made the world, you know, um, people have different opinions about different things, but in the good book that I read, there are signs. The signs are coming to pass. So, y'all need to get your shit together. Y'all need to get whatever you need to get done. Because, for me, these are the last days. Somebody. God is coming. 
I don't care who or what you believe in. For me, God is coming any day now because in the, in the great book, in the Old Testament, God sent locusts. He turned a river into blood. He can turn water into wine. Remember when uh, Moses was doing all his acts in Pharaoh for to let his people be free and all that shit? And they had to, and the Pharaoh and Egypt and all those people had to go through and see shit and see how God works? Okay, that was then. God's showing us now because there's wars going on. Who? <laughs> now we're going through a flipping pandemic. Worldwide, you cannot tell me that you know God's again sick of this shit and saying, like, okay, y'all not listening, so y'all gotta stay home or do something, read your Bible, pray, and get on your knees. Y'all can have some calluses on your damn knees because you're gonna be praying so damn much. So, with that being said, uh. Y'all need to pray. Get in the word. Take care of your family. Do what's right. Um, go to bed when you're supposed to go to bed. <laughs> That's a little side note on my part. Um, but I had to put my little two cents in about um, my what you know, God and everything. Also, my little two cents about Hassan Campbell. If you want to listen to what he says now, about these, like, the last videos, the last, I would say about the last ten videos, at most, he's been, um, saying things about 5G and, um, how the technology is changing and everything, and, uh, you know, um, and then from my point of view, you know, this, you know, uh, also, I would say he had some videos ever since, um, the new year came in, 2020 came in. So whenever you think, uh, I'll go back as far as January of this year. Or even go back as far as December of last year up to now. Um, of Hassan Campbell's uh, videos. Um, my opinion, I was praying for 2020 saying that, you know, this was going to be a whole new year for me. I didn't expect no flipping coronavirus to keep my happy behind home and keep my ass quiet for a minute. To be honest, before quarantine and all this stuff, I'm always out. I'm always doing something. I had, you know, um, excuse me, um, looking, you know, hang out with my friends and everything. But also, I'm actually glad that this quarantine happened. My reason being is that it knows it shows you who your real friends are, and it shows you who your family is. Um, If you go on YouTube and God sends somebody or God shows you a person and then you like DM that person or whoever. I don't it's not not me, I'm just saying. But if somebody like, you know, you connect with somebody on an intellectual way through different ways of um talking or finding new people, you know. God will show you something and um 
show you different things, different sides and everything. It's not until I go on my social media and find out that, you know, the friends that I barely talk to on my social media is people I talk to like every day now. You know, like I said, um, I live so far south in Florida or in Miami that nobody's going to come down here. It, I live so far. It's unbelievable, you know. Um, my brother lives three hours away from me, you know. And my dad lives in Fort Lauderdale. And he's no, uh -uh. This is my dad now. He doesn't want to even think about that's an hour to change away before he wants to see me. So he's like, nah, I'm good. Um, but, um, uh, my back and my knees are good. Um, so, yeah, I'm at the office, my chair. Um, just, uh, my opinion. If you have kids, spend time with your kids as much as possible. I love your kids. Um, um, love your kids. I might have no more kids, but my boys know that I love them. And, uh, and you know, it's just you take a day at a time. That's all you can do. That's my, the, my slogan. Don't sort the small stuff and take it a day at a time. Um, also, if you have your mom, if she's still blessed to have your mother still, um, love her. Love her. I lost my mom nine years ago. I can't call my mom. I mean, this. I lost my mom when I was 27 years old. I'm 36. I'm 36. This year will be 10 years that my mom's been gone. Jesus. So. In a crisis like this, my mom would have been here and we would have been talking and doing, taking pizza and watching our Netflix and all this shit. Yeah. She would have asked me, what the flip is Netflix? <laughs> Drinking wine. Shit, I'm going to buy my bottle tomorrow. <laughs> um, but, yeah. That's my little note. 13 minutes of pure shit, but that's what I'm going to tell you. Just take your time. That's my little input for tonight. I'm going to bed now because my eyes are watering. And I just yawned about like 50 million times. Yes, this is my lazy eye. Good night. Love y'all. Bye.